Hi, this is Fiona Fernandez. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live in Piemont. I do lives on Wednesday night and sometimes I have a bit of stuff that I've started doing in a live and I don't have time to finish it because I'm trying to make my lives a little bit quicker. So I decided to put this one together after my live while I still have everybody, every everybody out, the little elephant, and just make a quicker video so I've done some of the stuff already so this part here I did in my live on Wednesday night the 17th of May if you're looking for that I do put them up into the YouTube as well now this paper here is from the zoo crew designer series paper so on the back there's little animals and things so they're really cute cute paper but on the back of every one of them they have like a black and white print which is really cool and this one's got stars all over it so I had it out before and coloured it in with um, some blending brushes and just quickly used what I already had on my blending brushes so I did that in my life and I thought I'll just put this one on so this colour here is one of the new ones Lemon Lolly gorgeous, gorgeous lemon colour beautiful so this is the set I'm using it's called Little Dreamers and it's stamps, cling stamps, rubber and the dies that go with it so I've actually used this one in the other <coughs> sorry, in the other live tonight to do my other card so if you want to see me make that card that's that one and I did that in the live on Wednesday night on Facebook and it's now in YouTube as well so that's a cute little card so I did a bit of uh, masking on that so we'll just finish putting this one together as quick as I can. <laughs> Try and stay in camera, stay within the page, Fiona. Right, so I'm going to glue that one down in a minute. I haven't decided whether I want ribbon yet. I've quickly stamped some of these and die cut them out. Now this little one I started in the other live and I got some black ink on it. And I thought, oh, oh well, we can always add more black and you won't even notice it. So you probably wouldn't have even known if I didn't tell you. But I've just done that with the black ink pad, put a bit around the edges, made it look like I meant it. So now that one's meant to be on here. And I'm just colouring in my little elephant. I've got my dark and light grey granite, light grey granite. So I'm just colouring in the whole elephant with the grey granite. I just started doing that a second ago. Thought I'd better turn my video camera on and finish him. And then we'll die cut this one out in a minute sort of do a bit of it before the video so that we can make it a bit quicker and just use a bit of that and I used to be a bit scared to use the blends at first because I thought oh you know where do I color but it actually sort of because they're blends they're alcohol based they just blend in look they just all those funny marks just look like part of it now and then you can go with your dark one into some of the darker spaces and where you think they should be and then you can go back over it with a light one and blend it in a bit more which is pretty cool so I might go around the edges a bit and just play with it you know have a go with it it's fun to play with these things If you haven't seen me before, I'm doing card classes, some online, some in person. I've got another one starting soon, or starting, I'm continuing, in um, North Mead and near Parramatta. Just at once, I'm doing that one, I did a one day workshop in March and I'm doing another one in October. Yeah, I'll put some lines on his trunk. <laughs> And I've got a half day one in June. So check it out. That Everything's on my event page on my website. Just go over this one a little bit more. See what happens to it when it dries. It always dries a bit different to, to what you look you think it looks like when it's wet. See how I've got more lines there now. I'm just going to blend that in a bit more. 
see what we come up with. Just never sure how they're going to turn out. It's a fun colouring in though. Put a bit more in there. I think. See, it's blending better now. See, those lines disappeared anyway with the blend. Leave that bit around his eye. <laughs> Looks funny when it wet. It's like ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just let that dry for a minute. We'll colour in the um, little stars. I'm going to do my little stars in the yellow. Lemon Lolly. It's a bright colour. Look at that. Love it. So these are markers, these are water based. You can see the shape of them is different. The blends are quite square and the markers are round, so you know which one's which. And I'm just going to use a few different colours on these ones. Okay, ooh, look at that. It's that new blue. That is called Azure Afternoon. That is gorgeous. I haven't bought the ink pads yet for these. But you can get them in, in all the you know, cardstock ink pads. And this cardstock in these colours comes in a pack as well that I showed in my live earlier. You can get a mixture of colours in a packet. You don't have to buy them all individually. Which is always good if you just want to try them. See which one you like the best. I can't decide. <laughs> I do like the lemon lolly. I love it. But I've always liked yellow. So one of my favourite colours. And this one is cute too. Bubble bath it's called. Now I've used Memento ink on here, so just be really careful if you use that when you're colouring with your markers. It's okay with the blends, so that was with the blends. But normally I'd use stays on if I'm going to colour in with markers. There we go. Look at that. So we'll just quickly die cut this little fella out. mini because it's always fun to use the mini now you can still get the let me just check the website I always like to have that open uh, mini the mini machine comes in a boho color I'll just see if it's still there and it, yep it's still there so $110 for the blue one which is called boho blue which is the same colour as, hang on a minute, let me grab some cardstock, this colour here. That's the blow, the boho blue. You can get a little mini machine in that colour. I don't have one. got my mini, my white mini. So I'll just put our little elephant on there. I oh, see the blends are 
turned out different how I thought it was going to look, but that's okay. <laughs> I wasn't really sure. But they do blend in. They do what they say. They blend. I'll just make sure I am in camera. <laughs> I'm used to doing this live and I can usually see my screen in front of me. I'm just recording today. Tonight. Oh, he's so cute, that little elephant. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? A cute little elephant. Right, so we'll just quickly decide what we want on our card. Maybe I don't need anything else. He's got a nice white rim around him. But my star is born. Which way will we go? Maybe we could do it like that. I don't know whether I want one from here or not. We are doing that way. Oh, no, nah, it's got to feel right. <laughs> Way I roll. <laughs> Do them till they feel right. And if you're not sure, look in the catalogue and get an idea out of there. Or look on the web, because the online store, under all the stamps, they if you click on the picture of the stamp set, it has pictures down the side. So they're pictures that you'll find in the catalogue as well. But it's really handy to know. If you can't think of something, I'm not sure which way to do it. I might do him up like that. The star is born. Maybe I'll do it that way. That feels better. There we go, and I'll just get a little piece of ribbon and put um, I'll put a bit of this one on. Just wondering whether to do that underneath the. Just to give it a bit of glitter. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay. Get my ribbon scissors out again. I give a pair of scissors just a ribbon so you get a nice cut. I'm just going to put that like that. So before I let that go, <laughs> I'm going to turn it over. Just put my scissors on it for a second to hold it there. Just grab a bit of tear and tape. off whoops I'll put another bit on in a minute let me get the backing off so I can fold that little piece down here there we go all right I might put another piece on that way I think 
I'll just use this to stick it down to. And I'll put the elephant up on dimensionals. It's very sticky, this stuff. <laughs> Good rub on there so it sticks through that ribbon. If you can't get the backing up, just grab and take your big tool. And I'll just fold that bit back. Push that one down a bit through there. So we've got a few pieces there. All right, so we know that we're going to... St I don't stick that down straight away because I want to make sure that I'm not putting ribbon underneath the paper. Just put a bit of glue on there. Don't go right to the edge because it might ooze out. You don't want that. Put the glue down the middle. And these stars go anyway, so you can put it whichever way you like. Right. Now we're going to stick our little... We'll just put the elephant there for a minute. Position everything. And then we'll stick them back down. And of course, if you want more dimension, pop these up on dimensionals. I'm okay, and I just put too much glue on that. <laughs> Whoops. Just dab it off quickly with a tissue. Don't usually do that. Just try really hard not to do that. <laughs> That's how you get it off, though. And the other thing you can use is a glue remover. Just use a glue thing like this. I do have these for sale as well. Just have to contact me. They're not stamping up there. They're just glue rubbers. Right, I'm going to put him up on a dimensional. Don't put so much glue on this one. And you could use mini glue dots as well. We'll have that one there. I think I'll put that one there. That's how I had it, wasn't it? I think he was down a little bit further. Thank you. That was a nice, quick, easy card. And then dimensionals out. We'll just pop some dimensionals on the back. going up a little bit. These trunks on that bit. <laughs> so gorgeous. Right. Nearly there. I think we're done. So there you go. That's a cute little card. And look, you can put a white piece inside if you want to, but you don't even need to with that one. I'd put a white one in there 
does look nice. But with the lighter colour cards, you can get away with just writing them if you want to. There we go. And that's got a nice little sparkle on it. If you want to add more stars to here, I did put Wink of Stella all over the other card. <laughs> you have a look closely in there. Hang on. Let me see if I can get some. It doesn't want to focus. Never mind. There's Wink of Stella on that one. And if you want to shop with me in Australia, there's all my details. And if you use the host code, that'd be great. If you're ordering under $250, then it goes on to a workshop order for me and I give back to my customers if they spend over $65 and give you a little gift and that way we will work together it's nice to get something back isn't it I hope you enjoyed that and happy crafting ciao